Maryland's 29th Combat Aviation Brigade providing search and rescue support in the aftermath of the tragic Key Bridge collapse. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. As a Baltimore resident, I use the Key Bridge almost daily, so I wanted to recognize all those affected by this tragedy and the emergency responders, including the 29th. Meanwhile, as we move into April, things are getting busy on post. We start this week with the annual Sexual Assault and Abuse Prevention Month proclamation signing. Leaders from all branches of service at Fort Meade gathered to sign. In his remarks, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp talked about the effort needed in combating sexual harassment and sexual assault. Trust is absolutely paramount to how we operate as an effective organization. And where you all work every day, you are in the foxhole. And that's why trust is absolutely paramount in these formations if we are going to succeed. When it comes to sexual nature, it's not natural for human beings to necessarily default to respect. It requires an engaged culture of leadership to create that culture of respect for everyone. The proclamation signing also presented an opportunity to introduce the new Garrison Sexual Assault Response Coordinator, or SARC. Happy Sapa Month to everyone. Uh, my name is Sherry Williams, and I am now the new Garrison SARC. Um, I come to you from USA Med at Kimbrell Ambulatory Care Center. So my, my team is here. Thank you for showing up. Um, I look forward to serving you. Um, same number has not changed. In other news, April is also the month of the military child. The Family Advocacy Program and Child and Youth Services have planned a full slate of activities for the month. The annual planning of blue pinwheels at CDC4 kicked off the month. The pinwheels represent a community's efforts in raising awareness of child abuse and neglect. A big highlight of the month is the annual fun fair. More than 15 on-post and off-post organizations that provide child and youth services in the area participated. We took a moment to speak with the Family Advocacy Program about their New Parent Support Group. Well, as New Parent Support Program, we are located at the Family Advocacy Center here on Fort Meade. And you just call us, and if you're interested, you're either pregnant or have a ch child under the age of three, contact us and we will get connected with one of the New Parent Support Home Visitors and we'll let you know more about our program. During the home visit, we come out and we um, educate the parent, depends on their needs. You know, some people might need um, just postpartum information, breastfeeding support as well as, you know, just um, different child development milestones and they have questions. So we come out to the home and we give them information, educational information that they may need. As I mentioned before, Family Advocacy and Child and Youth Services have a full month of activities planned. Details can be found on our Facebook page or the March 22nd edition of Mead Week. Elsewhere, on the first Tuesday of every month, the Army Substance Abuse Program offers monthly community training. Open to everyone, the training is really a twofer, substance abuse and suicide prevention. We open it to the entire installation, whether, whether you're a civilian or whether you are a soldier, uh, a service member of any branch, and even dependents or retirees can come in and, and, and sit in for the training, right? So uh, we offer suicide prevention and substance abuse awareness um, and prevention trainings all in one. Talking about gambling has always been a part of the class and with the explosion in sports betting, gambling is easier than ever. The thing about problem gambling is that obviously it's not everybody that, that gambles, but for some people, uh, they have a hard time uh, controlling it. They uh, get caught up with uh, prioritizing the gambling to the point that it impacts their everyday life, their family life, their, their finances, um, their quality of life in general. And what studies have found is that there are similarities, almost identical, to the effects that substance abuse or alcohol abuse has uh, on the body, the mind, the soul. And, uh, you know, we touch on it to make sure that people understand the, the issue from a community perspective so that they can approach folks dealing with uh, gambling addiction with the same level of concern um, and compassion. The training should also meet annual training requirements for substance abuse and prevention. For more information or to sign up, call 301-677-ASAP. Finally this week, a reminder from MWR, the next Right Arm Night is scheduled for Wednesday, April 17th at 4 p.m. at Club Mead. It's open to all ranks and services. Complimentary appetizers are served while supplies last. Units are encouraged to reserve tables. Call 301-677-6969. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.